Hey y'all, it's Paul, and welcome to the couch. I think if someone came to me and said, if you could make a movie of any kind, if you could do anything, I would make a Teletubbies movie. Now that's a show that even though I was too old to watch when it was on the air, I would watch it anyway for its enthralling storyline and dedication to complex, interesting characters. I feel like the show left off with so many questions for the audience, like, why is there a laughing baby in the sky, and what the crap am I watching? I want people to be watching TV like 10 years after Teletubbies went off the air and see Teletubbies, the final chapter. It's great, it's classic Teletubbies, they're waddling around like high toddlers. And then at the end of the commercial, it's just like, Rated R. <laughs> rated R, that can't be right. Everyone will just assume that it's just like a typo, and so parents will bring their, like, babies and their children and their toddlers. And the movie's normal enough, like, for the first hour and a half, it's just a movie about these Teletubbies going on an adventure, learning about manners and morality and stuff. And it's a good movie for the whole family. You know, the babies are all laughing, the toddlers are all laughing, the kids are all laughing, and even the parents are laughing. It's just a fun adventure, but suddenly in the last five minutes, BAM! The giant baby in the sky grows tentacles and starts attacking the earth in this like gore intestine filled CGI epic adventure. Tinky Winky eats Lala in a cannibalistic struggle to survive. There's like a three minute sex scene between Dipsy and Poe. And at the end of the movie, Nunu the vacuum cleaner like goes out and becomes a hitman and kills Barney the dinosaur with like this Quentin Tarantino-esque speech. Blackout. Roll credits. Teletubby theme song. Kids around the nation are just sobbing their little godforsaken eyes out. Parents don't know what to do about it. That was me. That was my doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be a great father someday. You wanted a film, I gave you a film. I made you feel Tinky Winky's pain. And have you ever seen a better performance than that made by Dipsy? Ho 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 ho! Emmys all around! But either way, this has been a Paul Davis Griffin thought of the day. Now it's time for the Paul Davis Griffin picture of the week. In 1847, a doctor performed an amputation in 25 seconds, operating so quickly that he accidentally amputated his assistant's figures as well. Both later died of sepsis, and a spectator reportedly died of shock, resulting in the only known procedure with a 300% mortality rate. That is like the worst thing I've ever heard, except for maybe the Holocaust and like hostess going out of business. But other than that, it's like, woo! Everyone in that room except for him died! And it was his fault! Like, what, what are your friends going to say to that? Oh my god, guys, this, it's just this procedure thing has got me so depressed. No, no, no. Why, why, would it, why would it have you depressed? I killed three people. What? No, no, man, no. Well, yeah, yeah, you did, but you know, on the bright side, your beard is still awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Alyssa Steiner asks, Please feature this question because the bubble dinosaur said so. If you could have any exotic animal as a pet, what would it be? Question marks. Mythical creatures are acceptable. There's no real animal that I can think of that me personally, I would just feel very strong about owning. So I would think more situationally, what would be the funniest? Like people would come over and I'd be like, here's the kitchen, it's lovely, and here's the bathroom. And if you look out back, you can see my swimming pool where I keep my humpback whale. Wait, you have a, you have a humpback whale? Yes, his name is Snoo Snoo. Snoo Snoo the humpback whale, would you like to ride him? But like, Snoo Snoo can't swim around. It's a freaking swimming pool. So Snoo Snoo's just kind of sitting there like <laughs> but still she is beautiful no, no! That's my time, Grifflings! Thank you for watching this episode of The Couch. Want to see more episodes of The Couch? Click the previous button! Or click the next button in about a week or so. Want to see subscribe to one of my other channels? Link is at the end of the video! Want to see one of my new music videos? Link is also at the end of the video! Want to subscribe to me on Facebook and or Twitter fan page? Go into my descriptions down there! Also, my artist, Kiehl's Hawkstein, is down there too! Check her out as well! Also, did you know there's a Paul Davis Griffin official fan club webpage? Go to the link that is in the description of the video if you want to sign up, become a member, and participate on the chat boards. Also, there's a new Paul Davis Griffin Fan Club YouTube series by a creepy guy named Buster Cherry. Link is on the video. Love you so much. wop bop loop bop wop bam boom out Max, fat bros, and squat dudes, sororities, plain white dudes, affirmative minorities. The